Welcome back to another video. I've got a quick look today at an SSD that was sent in via RavPower. Uh, this company makes power banks and batteries and other things, but they're now doing a solid state drive. So I thought we'll unbox it, have a look at it, and then we'll do a few tests later on. You do get the user guide in this. Normally wouldn't bother showing it to you, but there is one important area to note, and that is you can't use it as a system disk. And I do mention that in the frequently asked questions section. Taking out the box now, it's very nicely packaged. You've got the piano black metallic effect on the top. It looks quite nice. That is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. On the rest of the casing, that's aluminium, and they use that usually to dissipate the heat a bit. There's your Type-C charging port, and the hole next to that is where the LED light goes. So overall, nice enough appearance, and I haven't seen any problems with heat on that, so the aluminium seems to be doing its job. In the other box, the Hello one, you get two cables, a type A to type C and a type C to type C. They're quite thick, but they aren't very long, 30 centimeters. They do include a travel pouch for you, and that does have a partition on the inside there so that you can store the drive and the cables neatly away. It's a nice touch that they include it. It's not essential, but it could be handy just to keep things together if you're traveling around. Quick comparison with some other drives. Quite a bit smaller than the two and a half inch drive on the left hand side. Obviously these do come in different form factors, these solid state drives. There's your hardware spec on screen now. Remember these are the figures that they give you, so I'm going to do some tests in a minute. First off when you plug this in you'll see the blue LED light up and that flashes when you're transferring data. Included on the drive they do have the user guide and there's software for Windows and Mac. The software that's included that allows you to register your warranty or you can set it up for encryption. You don't have to install this to use the drive at all. There's your formatted capacity, 953 gigabytes. I did reformat it to NTFS. Didn't get any additional information from SSDZ either. Here's a quick reminder about the USB ports. In this case, the blue ones are USB 3 and the red ones are 3.1 generation 2. I have no idea why they keep changing this, it just makes it more confusing for buyers, but there's an indication of your speeds on the screen. Here's the benchmark testing that I did, and you can see that the 3.1 Generation 2 is faster, particularly on the continuous writing speeds. If you're not getting the full speed, do make sure that you check your drivers for your motherboard or device. And often you don't always get those speeds transferring files, but it's still nice and fast compared to a hard drive and you can use it with other devices such as phones, Android boxes, game consoles, things like that. As long as you have at least the USB 3 ports, then you're going to get decent speeds off of this drive. I would have liked to have had a slightly longer cable for desktop use, but other than that, that's a small point. Quite a nice drive, and it lives up to its quoted spec. Don't forget, stay tuned for more exciting videos, a lot of stuff coming in, and thanks for watching.